what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of infected tutorial spots and strategies and today we're on the map fog which is an awesome map to play on so let's get into the offensive strategies i like to hold out back here in the back of the house it's really hard for people to rush you so it's a good place to hold down and by the way guys when you're on this map you have a choice of two guns one being the bulldog shotgun and the other being the pdw handgun with extended max it's not exactly the best guns but you can hold down these parts of the maps pretty well so if i'm not behind the house i come over here this little lagoon area it's really wide open if you move around you can't really get hit by that many knives unless you kind of screw up or if they rush from one of those points in the houses over there they can kind of sneak up on you and get lucky but other than that it's a pretty good spot now if you're not going to go to those first two locations you can try holding it out in the house the only problem with that is there's so many ways to get up there like from there on top of that awning you come over here from the top of the house and on the ramp and then there's the stairs coming up so it's really crazy and it's really close quarters so it's kind of hard to hold the area down efficiently but my favorite spot is down here in the basement because there's only two entrances one over by the stairs and then this little cave entrance over here so this is probably my number one spot that I usually pick every time I play on this map, especially with the Bulldog because the close quarters I can pretty much tear you up. And you can kind of do a little sneaky shot like that through the wood right there. Uh, well, Tyler killed me, but uh, you can do a little sneaky shot through the wood there and you can get kind of lucky and see when they're coming. Now, if you are the first person to get infected or if you're unlucky and get infected, this is my spot to go to counter. I kind of go through the window, get a lucky knife off because you can see when you try to rush, especially if they have the Bulldog and the PDW with the Close quarters, once you get a little too close, they can pretty much take you out pretty quickly. So you can see Bojangles kind of ran up a little bit stupid right there. And I try to rush again and I get really unlucky. So if I'm not finding people in that spot and I see a lot of people over here, this is what I tend to do. I do a really bad knife right there, but I rush over and get the two knives. And uh, yeah, that's probably about the only way you can get people out of that spot unless you get lucky with a knife. So let's move on to the defensive part of this the strategy guide like, oh, aka wait, the hiding spots now there's a lot of brush and a lot of dark corners so you can kind of hide out in any of these really? spots here especially if you have a ghillie suit it really really helps and you can hear tyler commentating about he doesn't like this spot i've used that spot and it works out pretty well for me so if you don't like any of those first two spots over behind the house actually What's offers it? a lot of spots to hide but yet again if you have people over there playing offensively you're going to bring a lot of attention to you and as soon as they kill off all those people over there they're going to find you and it's not going to end up well for you so you can hide over here but be careful the propane tanks they will kill you and you will get infected now this is one of the spots that tyler was hiding in for a while and it works really well especially as i said before via the ghillie suit you hide in with a lot of the brush really well so that's definitely one of my favorite spots now this one was kind of on the border if I wanted to make it a good spot or an obvious spot. People don't really know about the tree. They kind of see it there and they're like, oh, that really doesn't mean much. A lot of people don't really use it as a jump spot. Um, but you can actually jump from that tree over on top of the building. And it's, it's a good spot. Um, most people won't look for you there. And to this spot, this is my one of my oh, favorite spots at least. Spot. It's kind of obvious, but at the same time, you're kind of hiding in water. So people don't really look for you there. Now... The obvious and bad spots. These are these are bad. Don't please don't sit in these spots like this one. It's close quarters. You'll die. And a lot of people hide on top of this house. I I don't understand why. You're extremely out in the open and generally you're not moving. So it's you're a very easy target to get oh, thrown yeah, knife. So right be careful. Don't be stupid. Kind of listen to what I'm saying and take it take it advantage of it. So a lot of people hide in the camping area too. I thought the camping area would be a good yeah, like, spot to hide originally, but not so much so special thanks to bojangles and tyler who came out and helped me with this video you can see tyler's running around trolling his michael myers because that's a special thing for this map but if you guys like the video and you're enjoying the series thus far make sure you leave a like rating and if you're not subscribed already please subscribe and youtube i'll see you later